You want to shine like a diamond, you got to get cut like a diamond. And the version you are today is good, but it ain't great, and it definitely ain't phenomenal. But if you're willing to make some adjustments, it is nothing you can't have. If you think the person you are right now is going to get you to this level, you've lost your mind. But if you're willing to get cut, if you're willing to get constructive criticism, if you're willing to go through professional development, if you're willing to grow and learn more tomorrow than you knew today, then you can get to the next level. But this version is not going to take you to that level. You can't be getting up at 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning and think you're going to be on his level. You're going to have to get up a little early. What I want to invite you to do, what I want you to consider is that every single time you go and do something hard, because a lot of people, their excuses are that it's easier said than done. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to do that. Well, it's supposed to be hard. Look, if it wasn't difficult, then there'd be no growth. There would be no resistance. There'd be nothing to force you to grow stronger with. And that's why I say the most important reason, the most important thing, the most important gift that you receive by taking action in the direction of your dreams is not attaining your dream. It's you growing stronger and becoming a stronger version of yourself through the challenges, through the resistance, and because it's hard. But the truth that will set men free is the truth men don't want to hear. You gotta change. You gotta take responsibility for your okay. stuff. You gotta clean your act up. You're not your act. You need to get your life together. You've got genius in you. Challenge yourself, push yourself, make yourself come up with something. Use your imagination. So what, you fell flat on your face, so what? Learn from the experience and start again. Don't count yourself out. Forget about the mistakes yesterday. Forget about all your failures yesterday. Forget about what you don't have. That's not important. Only thing that we have is right now. And what you will find is that you know more than you realize that you know. That you're more creative and more resourceful than you realize that you are. You see, the universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied. That business that you want, that dream that you have of controlling your destiny, that is yours. That power to create that is yours. That's available to you. But you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment. Not have support. Be lonely. Doubt yourself sometimes. Be rejected again and again and again. Become bankrupt if necessary. If it's difficult, so what? If it's inconvenient, so what? Don't sentence yourself to a lifetime of being miserable, a lifetime of being broke, a lifetime of being unhealthy, a lifetime of being in a relationship that is no longer fulfilling to you. You are a human being. Don't volunteer your life that way. Your life has too much value to the universe. You've got something to contribute. You've got something to give. But the challenge is, is to hold on. And if you hold on tenaciously, I say the universe is on your side.